Okay, we're gonna start with garlic confit, the first of two things that you're gonna to wanna to keep in your fridge all the time. So these are a bunch of garlic heads that we had lying around. You don't have to get fresh garlic if you got stuff that you wanna use that's cool. We're cutting the tops off of the heads of garlic just to expose those cloves and then get off as much of the paper on the outside as you can. It doesn't have to be perfect. We'll be peeling the rest off later. If you wanna go really nuts, you could completely peel them right now and start with naked garlic cloves. But the key is you're putting them in this little container. I got this at the dollar store, just a little aluminum pan. If you've got a nice uh, little container you want to use in your oven, you can do that too. If you're thinking ahead, you can heat your oven up to 350 degrees now, and then just grab some olive oil. Again, nothing fancy. Whatever you got lying around is fine, because it's actually going to taste better when you're all done than it did before you started. We pour enough olive oil in to cover all the garlic, not so much that it spills, because we've got to get it into the oven. Like we said, 350 degrees, got the oven all heated up, we grab our garlic, and then we're going to put it in for about 15 minutes. And then 15 minutes elapses and you'll notice that uh, the oil is bubbling. It's nice and hot. Be careful taking it out. It looks beautiful. Your kitchen's going to smell amazing. Let it cool off and then I'm pour pouring this oil into a squeeze bottle so I can use it to cook other stuff. I love this for like an omelet or whatever I want to do. And then we're going to go back to our garlic cloves and peel off all of the paper on the outside because we just want the cloves. They're going to be nice and soft, almost like uh, butter that you could spread them. And in fact, that's a great thing to do on some bread. A little bit of this garlic and some butter on top. Label it so we want to make sure you know the date they put it in. Although, I'll tell you, it never gets to the date that I would think it would be bad. Uh, we finished them before that. We throw them in the jar, throw it in the fridge. Next up, we're going to look at some pickled red onions. Here I've got two uh, little red onions, but if you got a big medium, uh, big or a medium onion, start with that. I'm going to peel them up and uh, then we're going to slice them from the uh, roots to the bottom of the uh, onions. I like them nice and thin so that I can put them on sandwiches and salads and wherever else I want to use them. You could even dice them up smaller later. Uh, but whatever size works for you is good. Uh, we're just cutting them up and uh, getting them to the size we use uh, in any other dish that we prepare. Other than that, the other ingredients are pretty simple. So we're going to get some peppers. Here I got chili peppers. You could use jalapenos if you have those. Instead of cutting them lengthwise, you might cut them around instead. Got some peppercorns, regular peppercorns. Now we got some white vinegar, the kind you might have around the house. Got about a cup of that. And I got about a half a cup of sugar to that. Throw in all our peppers, some salt. Here about a tablespoon of salt that I'm just going to throw in there. And then we start a pot to boil. So once we've got everything heated up, I'm going to add maybe about a half a cup of water. You can really put it this ratio is whatever works for you. It doesn't have to be exact. Uh, and we set that up to boil. It takes about a minute to boil. Once it's boiling pretty well, stir it up. And we're going to throw in all of our onions. And you'll see they'll turn really nice and beautiful pink almost right away. And we're going to let that boil for about five minutes. After about five minutes, we strain that off and put that into the jar that we're going to keep them in. Uh, and once it's full up, make sure you get all the peppers and the peppercorns and all that good stuff to keep the flavor in there uh, while they're still continuing to pickle in your fridge. Uh, and then we'll pour off the liquid. And um, that's pretty much it. You're going to sit in your fridge. Same thing here. We'll label them so that we know when we made them. But again, I've never had them stick around long enough for me to even worry about how old they were. And that's it.